All right, hello everybody and welcome to Megasota Game Night. We are back after going to Las Vegas for the PCS Finals and what a great time we had there. Uh, but we are excited to be back here in the studio, ready to play some trivia with you. You guys ready for some trivia? Mm -hmm. Always. Oh, as much as I can. It is Earth-based trivia. All of these questions were written on the planet Earth. <laughs> All, every single one of them. I'd be very Wang. concerned if they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to book uh, some time on a spaceship, but uh, I couldn't get in there in time. I had to. They had an opening Saturday night, <laughs> but I had to go be at the uh, PCS finals in Las Vegas. <laughs> That's how things go. Life is made of priorities. You, you got priorities and choices, and you know sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And I mean, the finals were probably way more fun too. Oh, That's I right. would imagine so. So yeah, and. It was kind of nerve-wracking being in that big place, but I probably would have been more nervous on a spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I would hope yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, yep. Earth questions tonight, so make sure you get logged in. Just go to mybar.tv. I used to have some text up here, didn't we? What do I do with that? Let's see. My bar. Here we go. Yeah, if you want to play along, you can just... Let's see. Where did that go? It's just hidden. It's just hidden. There, you can do this. There you go. You can just go to mybar.tv on your phone, on your computer, and you can play along with us. And you can answer there. You just give your name, log right in there. You don't even ask for a password. That's how we do things. Don't care about a password. Just give your name, and you can play along. See if you can win. This week is Pride Points. Next week, if you win, you get to choose the topic for the following week. I don't know what you would pick if you had. What would you pick if you had a, a infinite amount of choices? Um... I would pick TV or music. Do you remember that show, My Remote Control, on MTV? Yes. That one was great because you got to choose your topic. Yeah. So that was really fun. All right. I'll take TV sitcoms for 100. There you go. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm thinking we should get this trivia underway right here. I think it's time. Earth trivia. Earth to players. Earth to players. Let's do it. Ready, get, ready right, to go. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's get this thing going. Where's my control box? Doop, doop, doop. Here we go. This game is going off in 10 seconds. And we have that warning countdown coming down. Here we go. In miles per hour. How fast does the Earth revolve around the sun? 5,380, 190,300, 67,000, or 1.287? JB96 and, and, and Palm Tree. Nice. Very Knowing good. the answer there, 25% of you getting that right. Wow, that's a tough one. Yeah. They must have Wikipedia open. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's suspicious. It is very suspicious <laughs> that the only two people getting it right are in the same location. Uh-huh. We know where you're at. Cheater. <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> Where's that? the cheater button. There it is. Cheater! <laughs> oh, no. uh, let's see here. We'll find out on the next question. Earth orbits the sun at an average distance. Is this the right question? Yeah. Average yeah. distance <laughs> of 149 million kilometers. Uh, one complete orbit takes 365 days, during which time Earth has traveled 940 million kilometers. Earth's orbit has an eccentricity of 0 0.0167. Can you believe that? I thought last I thought the eccentricity would be around point zero one nine. Wow. <laughs> uh yes. <laughs> Where did Nikki just go? Uh I think she was charging her phone. My computer I was charging my computer oh. because I was not gonna be able oh, to get it. We're gonna run out of batteries. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So that is the answer. The uh let's see. Thirty kilometers per second is how fast we orbit. Anyways, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> Twenty two percent of you getting that right. Let's see what happens. On the next question, next question, here we go. How many years old is the Earth? 21, 250 million, 1.8 trillion, or 4.5 billion? Palm Tree and JB getting it right again. Two thirds of you knowing the answer to that one. 4.5 billion years, it's just an estimate. They're not 100% sure. Oh, Did you get right. it right? Yeah, but I'm not on there. Oh, well, you got to be, it's not only do you got to get it right, you got to get it fast. <laughs> the palm tree in the lead with Earth Trivia 
Uh, the standard model for the formation of the solar system is the solar nebula hypothesis. In this model, the solar system formed from a large rotating cloud of interstellar dust and gas called the solar nebula. It was composed of hydrogen and helium created shortly after the Big Bang. It's approximately 13.8 GA. That means billion years ago. The good old days. Yep. <laughs> About 4.5 billion years ago, the nebula began a contraction that may have been triggered by the shockwave from a nearby supernova. Shockwave would have also made the nebula rotate as the cloud began to accelerate its angular momentum, gravity, and inertia, flattened it into a protoplanetary disk perpendicular to its axis of rotation. Small per perturbations due to collisions and the angular momentum of other large debris created by the means which kilometer-sized protoplanets <laughs> began to form orbiting the nebular center. That is another word for the sun. All right. Elon. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had some trouble there. I know that's a really long sentence. Well, it's, you know... When you when you have to talk about these things off the top of your head because you know it all without oh, having yeah. to read it, it's sometimes you gotta you know yeah. think too much. <laughs> Especially when you get into protoplanets, those are tough to discuss. All right, next question. Here we go. Question three coming up. How big is the largest recorded earthquake in the U.S.? Fifteen point three, twelve point four, nine point two, or ten point one? Oh man. Oh, well, there's Hank on the leaderboard. Nice to hey see you out go. there, Hank. Tristan knowing that one, 9.2. Yeah, a 10.1, all those other ones are gigantic because every time you go up by a number, the intensity increases by 10. So, like, uh, from a 10 to what a 15, 9.2. Oh, I thought that's what I Yeah, I so the difference between a 10 and a 15 is like 10,000 times bigger. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, there would be no Earth. Right, there yeah. would be no Earth, <laughs> yes. Uh, as of March 2016, the largest earthquake to shake the U.S. was a 9.2 earthquake that struck Prince William Sound in Alaska on Good Friday, March 28, 1964. And photos show the Four Seasons Apartments in Anchorage, six-story lift slab reinforced concrete building, which cracked to the ground during the quake. And the world's largest earthquake, so that was the question, biggest one in the U.S., the one in the, the, the world is a 9.5 in Chile, May 22nd, 1960. Wow. That's kind of weird that the two biggest ones were in the 1960s. I bet they just had faulty uh, <laughs> instruments. Probably. Sure. It's the only explanation. All right. So we'll, I guess we'll just go with that. I think it's the instrumentation. All right. Warren checking in there. 690 points on the leaderboard. Where are we at here? Question four. My TV trivia. Let's see. Can anybody beat Tristan? Probably. What was the lowest temperature recorded on Earth in degrees Fahrenheit? Negative 276, negative 128, negative 87, or negative 402? Ooh, this was a good one. People knew this one. 80% of you knowing that is correct. Way too cold. Very cold. That, I should have put that as a, cho as a choice. Very. Mm -hmm. Lowest temperature ever recorded was in Russia's Vostok station, where temperatures reached minus 128 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest temperature ever recorded on Earth came from... Oh, yeah, I just said that. <laughs> just paste, it, paste it in twice. <laughs> that was on July 21st, 1983. Minus 128. I wonder what it was with the what the real feel was. Oh. It's probably worse than that. All right, let's see. Tristan still in the lead. We are about ready to get to the halfway point here. Question five coming up. MyBar.TV trivia. Earth themed. What was the highest temperature recorded on Earth in degrees Fahrenheit? 212, 256, 136, or 194? Ooh, that one was way harder. 30% mm -hmm. of you getting that right. Dale, jump into the lead. Tristan, missing that one. What happened, Tristan? Uh, I didn't know if we were including wildfires. Oh. <laughs> I understand now. Yeah. <laughs> Hottest spot. Uh, recorded on Earth is in El Azizia, Libya. NASA recorded a temperature of 136 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, let's see. On September 13th, 1922, they have likely been hotter locations beyond the network of weather stations. Uh, the, weather, the image was created from data collected by the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer 
on NASA's Aqua satellite. Hmm. I didn't know they had satellites in 1922. Well, now we do. There's proof. <laughs> 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 yes, what's interesting to me, though, is that the highest temperature is 136 degrees, which, you know, we've been in... 112 degree heat before so it's only 20 degrees hotter than the hottest i've ever been at not that bad it was really hot yes it was pretty hot but the cold one it's minus really 128 really cold, that's yeah. way colder than i've ever been at it was at minus 40 mm-hmm. and i'm a judge of weather <laughs> would you be able to wear your shorts and crocs in that weather i wore to vegas because it was so cold i wore regular shoes that's right i saw it I still don't believe it. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Next question six coming up. Which of these are not a deadly lake? Michigan, Kivu, Nyos, Monon. That's a hard one. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm confused by the term. Not people don't know that one. That was a tough one. Only two-thirds of you know the right answer. That means... A third of you think Lake Michigan is a deadly lake. <laughs> well, I mean, people, can have, be. people, people have died. Die in it. Yeah. Well, not because of. It has like strong currents. Do, do, do you mean like the water is deadly or? Poison? There, if you look up. What is it? This if you, tell us what you mean. Yeah. There are three oh, lakes on. There are three lakes on the planet that are known as the deadly lakes. Oh. I don't know. I just googled deadly lakes <laughs> and it said ten deadliest lakes on Earth. Well, <laughs> those are not the right ones. Uh, because, uh, in Cameroon. And on the border of Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, there are three deadly lakes, Nyos, Manaun, and Kivu. All three are crater lakes that sit above volcanic earth. Mm. Magma below the surface releases carbon dioxide into the lakes, resulting in a deep carbon dioxide-rich layer right above the lake bed. So you can't breathe. Carbon dioxide can be released in an explosion, asphyxiating any passerby. Wow. So far, two of them have been on this list of ten. But... (laughs) But most of them have been from the U.S. Is there a Lake Michigan on there? I'm, I'm looking, <laughs> but no. Okay. No, in fact, the f- top number one is Lake Karakay in Russia. Huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's polluted. That's, that's oh, a happy Chernobyl. subject okay. to move on to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, these are, th- yeah, I should have uh, prefaced it. It's yeah. not Chernobyl related. <laughs> All right. Next question seven coming up. Or is anybody going to get Tristan? How many tons of gold are in the ocean? 15, 20 million, 100,000, or five? <laughs> five. I just like the five. <laughs> <laughs> Only half of you knowing uh. how much gold. This is unbelievable. There is 20 million tons of gold in the ocean. Can you believe that? I got to learn how to swim. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here's what I have to say about that. Don't grab your mining hat just yet. The metal is so dilute that each liter of seawater contains on average about 13 billionths of a gram of gold. Undissolved gold is also tucked away in rocks on the seafloor, and though there's not an efficient way of getting at it, uh, that, or there's no efficient way of getting at the precious metal, according to NOAA, if we could extract it all, each person on Earth could have nine pounds of the shiny stuff. Oh. Jeez, that'd be nice. We should start working on that. I yeah. know. <laughs> nice to have nine pounds of gold. <laughs> See everybody walking down the street with their nine pounds of gold looking like Mr. T? <laughs> it changed society forever. <laughs> That'd be great. I want to live in a society where everybody dresses like Mr. T. Maybe one day we'll get there. <laughs> okay, Dale, up on top, 2,900 points. It's coming down to the wire here. Where are we at question number-wise? Question eight coming up. <laughs> How many minutes does it take sunlight to get to Earth? One, two, four, or eight? Tristan in there right away. Rainbow tongue coming out from Tristan. (laughs) Yes, only 25% of you knowing that answer. Wait, I thought that was rainbow vomit. Yeah, that's rainbow puke. Oh, rainbow puke. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) It's vomit, rainbow vomit. Rainbow vomit. All right, rainbow vomit. The Earth is approximately 93 million miles away from the sun. This distance, it takes about 8 minutes and 19 seconds for sunlight to reach our planet. Did you know that, Tristan? I did. Uh, So this is a weird story, right? (laughs) But Timed it? No, I I didn't time it. (laughs) (laughs) My best friend friend in elementary school used to be obsessed with the fact that if the sun went out, 
it would take eight minutes for the light to reach Earth. Oh. And I have always remembered that. That's good to know. But so what you're telling me right now is, well, it's not light out. But if it were light out, we would know that at least eight minutes ago, the sun was still there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know why. But like in third grade, he knew that fact, and he just wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he knew you were, going, you were going to need that one day. Yeah. Speaking of phones, I didn't boot up Facebook. Could be all kinds of chat going oh, on yeah. there. No, it's just some guy named Pretty Mason. Pretty quiet today. Mason, talk to yourself? Yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hang on, let me get this logged in. Talk. We, we step away for a week, and now we don't know how to run this thing anymore. There we go. All right, where are we at question-wise? We are... Oops, turn this down. Question number... Number nine? Nine. Number nine, coming up next question number nine. Here we go. Earth trivia. What is the name of the supercontinent that used to make up Earth? Sarge, Sarge, Susie, Suds, or Pangea? <laughs> I uh, say we vote to change it. Which <laughs> supercontinent are you talking about? Well, if there was a supercontinent named Sarge, no. then I would uh, I would accept some uh, controversy <laughs> here. <laughs> Pangaea is the answer. The Earth's continents are thought to have collided and become supercontinents and broken apart again several times in Earth's 4.5 billion year history. The most recent supercontinent was Pangaea, which began to break apart about 200 million years ago. The land masses that comprised Pangaea eventually wandered into the current configurations of continents. When were the dinosaurs here? Uh, they were around... Actually, they there would have been some around during... Uh, Pangaea. Okay. Oh, Pangaea. That's how you say it? Yeah. Oh, well. That wasn't the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough of that. Question uh. 10 coming up. It looks like Dale is the only one who's got a chance to beat Tristan. Let's check it out. Who's going to be right? Who's going to be fastest? Coming up right now. What percentage of Americans think oh. the sun revolves around the Earth? Uh. Wow. 0.5, 26, wow. 14, for or 1? Uh-oh. <laughs> 26% is the answer. Yes, Only 25% of you knowing that 26%. I need to take a break. That's actually a very scary number. The <laughs> survey of scary. people in the United States was conducted by the National Science <laughs> Foundation in 2012 and released at the annual meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science in Chicago. To the question, does Earth go around the sun or does the sun go around the Earth? 26% of those surveyed answered incorrectly. I think Dale is just as shocked as me because he got <laughs> that wrong, too. Uh, Gallup poll in 1999 found that 18% of Americans thought the sun revolved oh around the Earth. My. So there is support for the notion that substantial numbers of people in the United States hold this belief. <laughs> Very good. I mean, the sun's the thing that's doing the rising and the setting, so it makes sense that it's the one that's moving. I mean, people believe in flat Earth still, so. <laughs> yes, that, I guess. that. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're going to end this one. Tristan picking it up. 4,200 points. Dale in second, Warren in third. Hank in fourth. Nikki in fifth place. JB96 and Palm Tree out there playing. Thanks for stopping by. And I think we are going to end this trivia game and get ready to play some games. What's our schedule for tonight? All righty. Coming up next at 6.40 is going to be Blingo Bingo, and that will be followed by Meso Perch at 7 p.m. At 7.15, Easy Money. At 7.30 will be Fishing Derby, Large Mouth Starting at $1,700, Small Mouth at $500. At 7.50 will be Top 10, and 8.10 will be Wipeout Blackout with Coverall starting at $4,170, and the Large Frame starting at $1,700. A lot of big, a lot of big prizes out there. A lot of small buy-ins. Yeah. It is going to be a blast. A lot of good stuff happening out there tonight. So we are going to take a break before we get to the games. But before we, when we go to break, we are going to replay the uh, introductions from the PCS finals. Oh yeah. Right. So if you weren't in Vegas, you're going to be able to check it out and uh, see that. If you were there, you'll be able to re relive a fond memory. <laughs> so we are going to take a little bit of a break, and we'll be right back with the games. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone to our inaugural pilot championship series. We brought the top 12 players across the Minnesota regional qualifiers out to Las Vegas for some fun in the sun. But they brought some Minnesota weather with them and had a little bit of snow and some chilly temperatures. 
but they're still here for a chance to win $10,000. So at this time, we're going to meet the players, and we're going to find out pretty soon who's going to take home the grand prize. So stay tuned, everybody, and the action's about to begin. Let's meet the contestants, introducing a newcomer to Pilot with the nine lives of a cat from St. Cloud, not Mad Max, this is Max! Here is Max! And our 11th place finalist comes from Woodbury. He's looking to have a little fun in Vegas, but he's really looking to win $10,000. How about a round of applause for Bella Dog? <laughs> Bella Dog, great name. Our 10th place finalist from St. Paul, not Fancy Pants, Nancy Pants. Welcome, Nancy Pants. And in ninth place, from Nicolette, PGL contender, leave it to Beaver. No Beaver jokes, this is Beaver. In eighth place, representing Big Lake and praying for the big win, ladies and gentlemen, Wastefall! All right, Wastefall. And in seventh place, coming from Apple Valley, hoping to vacation in the Maldives, ladies and gentlemen, Sherry! Welcome, Mon Chéri. And in sixth place, coming all the way from outer space, our current reigning and defending PGL champion, the name is No Show. The reigning champ, No Show. And in fifth place, flying in from Mankato, here is Erica! Hi, Erica. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in fourth, originally from Northeast Minneapolis, proud owner of a small mouth bass, ladies and gentlemen, Seahorse! All right, Seahorse. I'm going to find out about that smallmouth bass thing later. And in third, it's a man that comes from Hillman, and he swears his wife gave him the good luck kiss that he needed to make the finals. Now, we've all heard that you can't put lipstick on a pig, but his wife put a kiss with lipstick on this man. His name is Pig! All right, Pig, we're gonna find out about that good luck kiss. And in second, coming from Columbia Heights, all the way here to Vegas, to have some fun, to win some money, Lydia, Miss Lydia! All right, Lydia, welcome. And last, but not least, our first place contestant. Coming in with positive thinking and a lucky attitude. The name is Tweety!
Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, all 12 contestants. One of them is gonna leave with 10 grand. So now, the players are ready. Everything you see here is ready. The friends, fans, and family members, they are all ready. Are you ready? So for all those in attendance and all those watching at home, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Good luck, everybody. Welcome to Mega Soda Game Night. We are back in the studio in the regular spot. We got a bunch of great games for you tonight. 295 players already enrolled in Blingo Bingo. $1,200 in must-go prizes. We got 90 seconds to go before we get this one off to the races. We hope you had a great weekend and hope that you, uh, we had an amazing weekend at the Pilot Championship Series Finals. And uh, we've got a bunch of clips we'll be showing throughout the night here from the finals. If you missed it, you can re-watch it on YouTube or Facebook. And it is a, it was an amazing event, didn't oh you yeah. think so? Yeah, it was awesome. But the other part is, you know, there's something about being in your own studio. Back here, it's like getting in your own bed at home. I don't know. I like that studio. That studio was pretty <laughs> nice, but I like, I don't you know. know about you, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the headphones felt different. They're better. You know, they're nicer, I think. But, uh. And the, all the cameras were way nicer than what we have, but it's good to be home. It's good to be here. We put this thing together. That's right. <laughs> so I'm happy to be here. And we got 40 seconds to go. $1,300 up in total prizes right now. Working our way to 310 players. And uh, we can't wait to see who's out there playing tonight, who's earning some PGL points. If you were in Vegas, let us know on Facebook. If you went to Vegas... Let us know if you watched the show on Facebook, let us know. And if you wished you were there, let us know. We want to say hi to everybody. We had so much fun. We'll say hi to my parents. They were watching, and I snubbed them. We didn't say hi when we were on the air. My parents were watching, too. Oh, were they really, really? Oh, well, from hello. From Florida. From Florida. Oh, yeah, everybody was Florida. watching in yeah. Florida. <laughs> well, we didn't say hi to them either. We were, well, I think we said hi to your mom. You're right. I think she's. I think she posted something on Facebook. Here we go. We are off to the races here. Blingo Bingo. Ten minute forty five play flash bingo tournament game. But yeah, we had so much fun in Vegas. We worked the almost the entire time. Yeah, but it was fun. <laughs> but it was really fun. Here we go. Diesel at St. James Legion up in the first place there. 2,300 PGL points. Where are we at in our PGL standings, by the way? Uh, currently in PGL standings, um, Luck K is in first at Trails Grill. Then Mom Hee Haw at Schiffler's Liquor is in second. Third is Cancer Sucks at Clearwater's Corner. Fourth is Seahorse at Applebee's Monticello. And then fifth, we have Nixon at Roseville VFW. All right. So Seahorse was down in Vegas yeah, with us. Yep. He was dancing. Yes, he yeah. was a character. He made that stuff so exciting. He was yeah. the, he's the type of player, and just to let everybody know, he's in fourth place right now in the state, so you might want to try this out. He's the type of player who saved that last oh play yeah. till the very end, kept everybody in suspense. <laughs> but that was fun because everybody was cheering. Yeah, the whole crowd was, was like, so go, fun. go, 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 <laughs> go, go. And then he hit that last button. And uh, when, when we were in Vegas, all the players were on the stage, 12 players on the stage, but everybody who was watching could see all of their screens. Right, yeah. And so when Seahorse would wait till the very end and then he was going to hit that button, everybody was screaming, go, go, <laughs> go, 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 go. It was a lot of fun. Here we are in first place. We've got Ursk in first place with 14,000 PGL points. Ursk. 
And we got six, seven, nine in. Second place, Bowski in third place at Kanitsky's. It seems like it's been a while since we've seen somebody from Kanitsky's up at the top of the leaderboard, yeah. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just me. It does seem like that. J Ray, second place, Ernie at six, six, seven, nine in seventh. Squatch, a Sam Squatch yeah. monster in eighth place. And we got Bobcat in ninth. Could be Bobcat Gold late. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have a Vegas? He seems like the type of person that would have a Vegas show. Anybody catch that? I'm sure he has at some point. Bowski in sixth. Man, 797 in seventh place. Six, seven, nine in eighth. Ernie, the underground bar and grill in ninth place. Tony Ray in second. Jay Ray now in third. Jeff Haas in fourth. And Dirty 911 at Municipal Liquor Store in Mapleton. Fifth place, $388 for first, $155 for second, $124 for third, $108 for fourth, and $77 for fifth. Just a $5 game, right? This is a $5 buy-in? Yes. Oh, Bobcat Coltweight was in Skylanders. I don't know what that is. You don't know what Skylanders are? No. Oh, my gosh. Uh, cats, gold weights, mi misfits, and monsters. When was that one, Tristan? Oh, recent. So in 2018, he had his own movie. A TV show. Oh. We got money bags scrolling by in 30th place. Oh. Looking to get some more money. Money, money. Yep, it's getting close to tax time. Either you need that money to pay off those taxes or you want to take that bunny and combine it and get something bigger. Jay Cook in third place. JJC at JC's Bar and Grill in fourth place. Jeff Haas now in fifth place. But Arsk and why it's Twisted Americana still up there in first place. Close to 20,000 PGL points. Bindi Boop in eighth place and 679 in ninth. Me and her scrolling by in 38. Right, me and, and her. And her. <laughs> Man, 797 at third rail, bar and grill, taking over first place. Nice to see you out there. Got a, oh, go yeah, ahead. We got Miss Piggy out there. <laughs> yep, I saw Miss Piggy scrolling by. Another celebrity that's been out here before. Let's see if I do this. Man 797, who's in first, is actually a new player. Just started playing last month. All right, with 21,000 PGL points. Nice to see you out there, Man 797. We got five minutes to go. If you look at those yellow progress bars working away from the left to the right, they indicate how many of those 45 plays each of these players has completed. Once it gets all the way over to the right, they'll have no more plays left. We'll be able to sit back, relax, and watch the results unfold. Speaking of results, why don't we talk about the PCS finals? Where did everybody finish yeah. up? That's what everybody wants to know. And I've got that information, not because it's in my head, but because I went to pilotgames.com. And you oh, can do that, too, and go right go. on there and find the standings. Uh, we ended up uh, in 12th place was Nancy Pants. 11th place, Beaver. 10th place, Wasteful from Big Lake. 9th place was No Show from Outer Space. Pig in 8th place, St. Cloud. And Seahorse in 7th place, number 4 in the state for PGL, uh, from Monticello. And uh, we will go through the rest of the top six a little, little bit later. We're just going to call that a teaser. That sounds good. That's what we call that in the biz. I feel like I'm at a big uh, TV show know-it-all now that we were oh. on the uh, <laughs> fancy studio down there in Vegas. We got Man797 in first place. Arsk in second. Tony Ray in third. JJC in fourth. Jay Cook at St. Cloud Eagles in fifth place. 31 bucks, sixth through tenth place. Jeff Haas in sixth. Dirty 911 in seventh. Jay Ray at Sal's. Angus Grill in eighth place. And Wet Spot at Municipal Liquor Store. In ninth place, three and a half minutes to go. We've got a ton of games tonight. Six games to make that to make it clear. We got some uh, cheap ones. We've got some favorites. We got anything you want. We're gonna have it. Wet spots a newer player just starting to play from last month. 
And let's see, three minutes to go. And 797 still in that lead. Looks like a lot of the players are complete with their plays. But like we saw down in Vegas, we know when we're sitting here waiting for that one last person to hit that button, we never know who it was. But now we know it's Seahorse. <laughs> right. We know it's Seahorse. He walked around. He got up. He walked around, looked at everybody's screen. Mm -hmm. Wait till he had the right, the, the time was right. He had the right feeling. <laughs> and then he went and hit that button. Building all kinds of suspense. Get some good moments. What is your favorite moment from the uh, finals? Oh. Do I have to pick one? Yeah, just one. If you had to pick one. Or I any moment. <laughs> I mean, I can't pick just one. I really liked everybody going down the hype tunnel, whatever we called it. Hype yeah. tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I liked that. Yeah, the hype. They're getting their like walking out, getting their name called, going through this tunnel of lights. It's like it was super cool. Yep, the hype tunnel was definitely pretty cool, and we just watched it again. Uh, if you weren't tuned in early enough, maybe we'll play it later. But yeah, that was that was pretty cool uh, for the hype tunnel. Players got to run down it, or however you want to get down it. My, I think one of my favorite parts was uh, no show coming out there. Um, taking his shirt off and throwing it into the crowd right at the beginning. I didn't even get to see that. Oh, you didn't see that? No. Oh, yeah. It was great. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it was really funny. And the crowd went wild. <laughs> 90 seconds to go. Man, 797 in first place. Gabby now in ninth place with a few plays left. Gabby, make sure you are using those plays. You know what happens next week? No. Next week is Fat Tuesday. Oh, yeah. And so that means we will be doing some special games next week. So stay tuned to Facebook and uh, maybe your pilot PGL newsletter. If you're not on the PGL newsletter, if you're not a PGL member, just go to PGL.world or just go to pilotgames.com and click on the link there. And you can get signed up for that newsletter that we are going to send out later this week. We'll let you know all about what happened at PCS, all about uh, what's happening with Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. <laughs> I spelt it wrong today in an email. I spelt it. I put the S at the M-A-R-D-I-S space G-R-A. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, because I knew there was an S in there. <laughs> and once I, um, once I sent that in there... Uh, right after I sent it. It's like, oh, God, I spent th I spelt that thing wrong. All right, we have Cancer Sucks and No Show both giving us likes on Facebook. Hope you guys are having fun out there tonight. Yeah, it's fun to see No Show in Vegas. It's a great time. Got to talk to him a little bit. Got J-Mac scrolling by in 101st Got place. Got to see J-Mac out yeah, there. Yeah, yep. Oh, and there's Lydia going by in 102nd. Yep, our big our champion, winner, Lydia. Yeah. Yep, out there playing tonight. Nice to see you That's back, awesome. Lydia. Actually, you know what? Lydia sent us a Facebook message earlier oh. today. A really nice Facebook message uh, that I saw come in on my phone. I want to go back and read it because it, it had some really oh. nice words and then dot, dot, dot. I'm assuming oh. the rest of it was just well, we as nice. We have our winner, <laughs> Man797. All right. All right. Congratulations, Man797. on that. Yeah, on that big $388 win. What do we have coming up next? Coming up next is going to be Meso Perch. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Meso Perch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone to our inaugural pilot championship series. 
we brought the top 12 players across the Minnesota regional qualifiers out to Las Vegas for some fun in the sun. But they brought some Minnesota weather with them and had a little bit of snow and some chilly temperatures. But they're still here for a chance to win $10,000. So at this time, we're going to meet the players and we're going to find out pretty soon who's going to take home the grand prize. So stay tuned, everybody, and the action's about to begin. Let's meet the contestants. Introducing a newcomer to pilot with the nine lives of a cat from St. Cloud, not Mad Max, this is Max! Here is Max! And our 11th place finalist comes from Woodbury. He's looking to have a little fun in Vegas, but he's really looking to win $10,000. How about a round of applause for Bella Dog? Bella Dog, great name. Our 10th place finalist from St. Paul, not Fancy Pants, Nancy Pants. Welcome, Nancy Pants. And in ninth place, from Nicolette, PGL contender, leave it to Beaver. No Beaver jokes, this is Beaver. In eighth place, representing Big Lake and praying for the big win, ladies and gentlemen, Wasteful! All right, Wasteful. And in seventh place, coming from Apple Valley, hoping to vacation in the Maldives, ladies and gentlemen, Sherry! Welcome, Mel Sherry. And in sixth place, coming all the way from outer space, our current reigning and defending PGL champion, the name is No Show. The reigning champ, No Show. And in fifth place, flying in from Mankato, here is Erica! Hi, Erica. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in fourth, originally from Northeast Minneapolis, proud owner of a small mouth bass, ladies and gentlemen, Seahorse! All right, Seahorse. I'm gonna find out about that small mouth bass thing later. And in third, it's a man that comes from Hillman, and he swears his wife gave him the good luck kiss that he needed to make the finals. Now, we've all heard that you can't put lipstick on a pig, but his wife put a kiss with lipstick on this man. His name is Pig! All right, Pig, we're gonna find out about that good luck kiss. And in second, coming from Columbia Heights, all the way here to Vegas, to have some fun, to win some money, Lydia, Miss Lydia! All right, Lydia, welcome. And last, but not least, our first place contestant, 
Coming in with positive thinking and a lucky attitude. The name is Tweety! Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, all 12 contestants. One of them is going to leave with 10 grand. So now, the players are ready. Everything you see here is ready. The friends, fans, and family members, they are all ready. Are you ready? So for all those in attendance and all those watching at home, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Good luck. All right, hello everybody, welcome back. We are playing Meso Perch and uh, already 375 players enrolled. About nine minutes ago, we I wanted to let that whole intro sequence finish up because I love watching it. That's the only reason. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the production value of this one. I just wanted to watch that again because it's so much fun. We got Louie checking in on Facebook. Louie, how you doing? She's saying good luck to everybody. So thanks, Louie. Good luck hey. to you, too. And oh, yeah, and also Seahorse checking in oh, on awesome. Facebook, <laughs> giving us a like. Thank you for checking in, Seahorse. Great to see you down there yeah. in Vegas. I keep saying down Vegas. I don't know if that's the right word. It's down. Out. Bingo in seventh place. Troy T at the Winter Lounge in first. Bindi Boof in second place. EW in sixth. Money two in seventh and events by Saker. There's Bingo now in eighth place at Big Al's in St. Michael. Zoe at JT's Corner Bar in ninth place. Bindi Boop in second, Debbie in third, Jam in fourth, and Lulu in fifth place. But Troy T holding out on the lead there at the Windrift Lounge. 11,000 PGL points. I keep wanting to say PCS points. We don't say that anymore. <laughs> it's done. It's over with. Going crazy. No more PCS. That was such a great event. Glad we got to meet everybody out there. Wish we had more time to hang out with everybody, but, uh, you know. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. First place in this one going to be $412. Second place, $225. Third, $187. Fourth, $112. Fifth, $112. We got some more clips from the PCS Championships coming in. And uh, we'll be playing those later. If you were there and you had pictures, send us uh, yeah. send us your pictures. I wanna, I'm want i going to send out an email to everybody who came down there and ask for those pictures. Because that was exciting. We got a ton of great video. People are doing interviews and all sorts of fun stuff. I got two hard drives worth of videos. We've got no show scrolling by in 18th place. That is a lot of videos. I see you, and I see you. Diesel in fourth place, St. James Legion. Diesel was on the leaderboard early last game. Tony Ray in ninth place, also on the leaderboard at, for some time in the last game sure where Tony Ray ended up. But yeah, fourth place in the first game. Bindi Boop taking over that lead. There were 20,000 PGL points. We had uh, Lydia in the PCS finals get over 200,000 points, I believe, right? She got over 200,000 PCS points in that last round. Picking up a gigantic win on Pride of Minnesota. 90,000 points in one play, it seemed like. <laughs> Jumping her out of yeah. nowhere to the top of the boards. It was a great time. And then you come back and got to go to work on Monday. <laughs> or drive through a blizzard to get back to your house. Was, <laughs> choose your choose your adventure. Yes, normally, <laughs> normally it takes us two and a half hours to get to the airport from here. And it was over four hours, I think. It's a while. It took a long time, but we made it. It felt like... A long, long time. <laughs> Bindi Boop over 21,000 PGL points. We got Kerm in sixth place, Diesel now in seventh, Jam in eighth place, and Meme at Rudolph's Redneck Roost in ninth place. Troy T in second, RJ 56 16 in third place, Kell in fourth, and Debbie in fifth place. Five and a half minutes to go. Crystal 197 at the Surfside Bar in sixth place. Jumping on to the leaderboard. Also, Radman50 at Jimmy's Poorhouse in ninth place. And 
the best news I've ever heard in a while is that next week at this time, it'll be March. Yeah. And February will be gone. Uh, I don't. The problem is the February weather won't be gone. Mm, it's not what I heard. I mean, I know I should remain positive. <laughs> <laughs> Look on the bright side. And we get to go to Florida the end of next week. Very bright side, yes. So it will be warm wherever we are. I hope it's warm there. It'll be, wor it'll be warmer. Not like <laughs> when we went to Vegas and they said it was snowing the other day. Right, but it was still warmer. It was still warmer, <laughs> yes. It wasn't real still snow. Still felt really yep. nice. It was not real snow. Hey, there we go. Damn, we got some jam. Whoa. Up to first place there, 26,000 PGL points. <laughs> Debbie in sixth. Kel in seventh. Bindi Boop in second place. Troy T now in third place. It's a 45-play, 10-minute flash bingo tournament game. You get a lot of PGL points tonight. We're going to find out from Tristan and Mason where everybody landed. What do we have up next? Are we at Fishing Derby already? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Easy, easy money, money coming up next. <laughs> It'll be easy money, then Fishing Derby, and then Top 10, and at 8 10 will be Wipeout Blackout. All right. I got to see. We still need to update our videos. That's right. We have an easy money video we can play behind us. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bindi Boop, back on top, 28,000 PGL points. Counting down to zero. And then we will get ready for easy money. We got Fishing Derby back by yeah. popular demand. And then we uh, wrap up the whole thing with Wipeout Blackout. Another one back by popular demand. That one's just a dollar. Jody giving us a like on Facebook. All right. Thank you, Jody. Well, yeah. I'm going to give ourselves a like, too. Tony giving us a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Doing it just for the shout out. <laughs> <laughs> McLovin scrolling by in 59th place. <laughs> uh, I laughed really hard in that movie. That's really funny. When he pulled out that ID that just had one name on it. <laughs> well, funny thing is, is like, some, like, a couple months ago, we saw all these people in the grocery store with McLovin t shirts. Yeah. Remember that? I guess he's making a comeback. I don't know. What was the name of that movie? No. I don't know. I don't know what it was called. <laughs> Th and then the other part of that movie, super bad. Remember they put the the beer in the laundry detergent to sneak it out of the house? <laughs> I don't remember that. I think there was some, some kind of thing like... They were s they because he had the McLovin to get the the beer to bring to the party, but then they got busted with the ID and so they ended up stealing beer from somebody else's house. But they they didn't have anything to put it in, so they dumped it into a um, thing w that was half full of laundry detergent. Oh, <laughs> I did not remember that part. <laughs> Bindi Boop over thirty thousand PGL points. Bindi Boop Ben on the l on uh, playing for a while. I don't know the last time I saw Bindi Boop at the top of the leaderboard when that clock hit zero. But we're hoping that's what happens here tonight. few plays left for Bindi Boop. And then we are going to take a break and be back with easy money. I've got, I'm putting together right now another highlight of PCS. Hot, hot off the press. Bindi Boop holding on to that lead. There are a couple plays left. That might do it for Bindi Boop. And like I said earlier, we found out at the PCS Finals when we're waiting for one last player to hit that button, my guess is that it's Seahorse. <laughs> one minute warning. Make sure you use all those plays. Get all those PCS points. P PGL points. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just I when you got used to uh, saying that. I want to stay in Vegas. That's what I wanted to do. And let's see. It was nice. People were great. Esports Arena people were amazing. Oh yeah. HyperX Esports Arena people were amazing. <laughs> 30 seconds to go, and we're going to play another little clip. From the PCS Finals. Is this the same music as always? Uh, no, it's not. I hit the wrong button. It feels a little jazzy. It does, yeah. I, I like it. it. I decide <laughs> to keep it. 
Oh, Jam, jumping up to the top oh. there. 30,505 points. Bindi Boop just a few points back in second place. First place going to be $412. Second place, $225. Third place, $187. Jam holding on to some plays till the very end. Jam, you could have used those extra points. Oh, there you go, right at the very end. Jam using the old pulling a seahorse. That's <laughs> what I'm going to call that. All right, we'll make it official. Then we'll take a little bit of a break, watch a another PCS highlight video. There right, we go. $11 to Jam from Monticello. Uh, that's where Seahorse is from. I believe, I know he's from Monticello. I'm not sure where he plays out there, but Seahorse could be in the house out there. All right, we are going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right back with Easy Money. All right. Let's see what happens here. Minute and a half to go. 203,000 PCS points for Lydia. So tweet in second place with 130,000. Lydia hit that gigantic win. Yeah. And I'll be honest, when I was playing this game in practice, I hit that same big win, Did too. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I was just as excited. Well, I didn't get my $10,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I walked around, the office, less walked around the office looking for my check. I couldn't find it. <laughs> All right. A minute to go. Where is Seahorse uh, plays-wise? Last play here for Seahorse. What's going to happen? Not going to find that 90000 win, but Lydia going to take over first place there. In this game, 168,000 just in this game for Lydia. 203,000 in total. Lydia is our champion. Jill saying, go Grammy. Alexa saying, come on, Terry. Lydia doing the chicken dance. Woo! And yes, so we will have our, yes, we will have our host on it. What? Oh, yes, congratulations, Lydia. Big yes. win out awesome. there, all Congrats. the way to Vegas, all the qualifying <laughs> rounds, all the travels, all the blizzards, all the everything we've gone through. Lydia is our grand champion, 203,000 points. Becky checking in saying, go pig. All right, there's still 17 seconds. Yep. So, yep, very good. Uh, congratulations, Lydia. Time is officially coming down to an end here. Time is up. It is over. And we have our host coming out yes. to make the big <laughs> announcement, the big presentation. So congratulations. All right. Congratulations to Lydia. Oh, my gosh. And I mean a big victory, too, a big victory. But look how close it was between uh, third, fourth, and fifth place. That was really close. Number two, you came in there really close, but Lydia, what's the, how's that song go from Breaking Bad? Lydia, sweet Lydia. Just don't let anybody put Stevia in your, uh, in your coffee, okay? The queen of? Lydia, oh Lydia, the queen of the tattooed ladies. Oh my goodness. All right, $10,000 richer. Congratulations to everybody. It was a great, great, contests here and uh, pilot championship series a great start here in las vegas and i know you're all going to be joined uh, again on uh, tuesday is it coming up for the uh for the big cha another championship series but my gosh how about a round of applause for everybody here a well-played game and congratulations once again to lydia thank you Right, oh, we okay. are back. I cannot believe it. What yeah. an amazing tournament. That was so awesome. Everything we went through. And uh, Lydia is the champion after all that. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, to Lydia. Lydia. So awesome. <laughs> and I think that's going to do it for us. We can go get something yeah. to eat, get something to drink, and relax with everybody. So, uh, yeah, I think that's. Yeah, thanks everyone for coming out. So much fun. Enjoy the rest of your time in Vegas. And remember, when you play pilot games, your community wins. All See right. You later. See you Tuesday. <laughs>
right, everybody, we are back. We got about nine minutes to go here in this easy money 45 play 10 minute flash bingo tournament game. Marky Mark at the top here from Shenanigans Cheer and Chow. Shenanigans Cheer and Chow always sharing pictures on Facebook, and we love to see them. So thank you so much for doing that. We got Bindi Boop in sixth, Jay Cook in seventh, Fifi in eighth place, the name of my bank, Fifi. We are playing Easy Money, so let me turn that on. Get our background going here. There we go. Oops. We've got BLD at Big Owls jumping into first. All right, BLD. Nice to see you out there at Big Owls. Repping six, MK 1985 in seventh place. D Bennett jumping to the top of the leaderboard there with 5,200 PGL points. Uh-oh, big trouble in 16th place. <laughs> big trouble in Little China. <laughs> Rose K in first. We got $355 for first place in this one. Almost 400 players enrolled in this game. Lots of people out there. There's no show out there in fifth place. And we got Spinner 50 out there as well on the leaderboard. Seahorse scrolling by in 21st. Seahorse and Spinner 50 back to back there. And Julie jumping in the first place at Bootleggers. Melissa in second at Spinner's Bar. YYTTT at Old Northrop Bar in third place. Porky in fourth. And Rick in fifth place. <laughs> Ziggy Zacky. Ziggy Zacky. Ziggy Zacky. He's got the Zaki. beers. Is, it, is that like a thing that they made up for the man show, or is that a real saying? It's a real saying. Okay. <laughs> Ziggy Zaki in first place at Stuartville Legion. Julian second, Melissa in third, YYTT in fourth, and Porky at Lucky's Tavern in fifth place. Rob checking in on Facebook, wishing everybody luck from Skinner's in St. Paul. Rob, good luck to you. And was there another, someone else we were supposed to say hi to, Mason? Or is that the same? Okay. <laughs> Rob, thanks for checking in. Good luck to you. Ziggy Zaki holding on to first place. Melissa in second, YYTT in third, Julian fourth, Porky in fifth place. Bobcat 1013 might be related to Bobcat Goldweight on the leaderboard as well. CBC Burgie in seventh. Bingo in eighth place. Marky Mark now down to ninth place. <laughs> and yeah, we had a blast in Vegas. Went to the Bellagio. Ate at a buffet there. That was awesome. That was Friday night. And boy, did I put down a lot of food. It was, the desserts were great. Tristan, not a fan of the tacos. I thought they were pretty good. I went back and got seconds. Oh, well, Tristan was only able to get one taco. I got a bunch of them. I think I had two the first time and possibly three the second time I went up there. <laughs> Melissa in first place at Spinner's Bar, 16,000 PGL points. Oh, Tristan saying in my headphones here that he was only allowed to take one plate. That's where you messed up, Tristan. I when I went to the thing, I was scooping. So they had a plate with one taco on it. That's how it was at the buffet. Oh, okay, yeah. And I just kind of scooted them over. So I left two empty plates there and took my one. That's you took how two tacos, but one plate. Three tacos, but one plate. Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and I left the two empty plates at the oh thing. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, they're flip-flop at the top there between Ziggy Zaki and Bindi Boop. Zindy Zaki at, sh at Stewartville Legion Post with 16,000 PGL points. We got Laker in sixth, Porky in seventh, Sunny Day in eighth place, and Kerm in ninth place. And I also had to do the same thing with the desserts, too, because they had a big plate. But with you can go back. You don't have to get it all at once, right? Well, it's just a lot easier to fill up your plate with more stuff like why do they want to have a plate this big with a little piece of cheesecake like i don't understand that i could put six of those pieces of cheesecake on it and i did <laughs> mm. 
Bindi Poop in first place. Got big, big money oh. scrolling by in 60th place. I think my favorite thing I've ever seen at a buffet, this was at the at Harrah's in Reno. Mm, I have, yeah. I was there with, uh, with my friend Bob, and we were having dinner at the buffet, and this guy, he went to he went up and he loaded up he had like two or three plates worth of stuff and he set it down on his table he had a big corner booth all to himself and he didn't bite into anything he went back up for a round two and he had like three more plates so by the time the guy sat down he had 10 plates i feel like that's kind of like your strategy of food. Your, your own one right there yeah all around his table and he, he took his napkin out and he put it into his shirt and then he just started What's going that? to town that's awesome <laughs> It, it was great. I don't know. I think if I tried to do that, the waitress would come and tell me I couldn't do that. <laughs> but he did it. Boy, was he, he having a blast. It. Yeah. Right. Julie in first place with 18,000 PGL points. Oh, well, there we got Beaver, PCS contender there in eighth place. Nice to see you this weekend, Beaver. I feel like I should have spent more time talking to people at, P at PCS finals. It we was were a busy. whirlwind. Yeah, it was a whirlwind. By the time I got down, there, there was a lot of people that were gone. Laker in sixth place. Melissa in seventh. Beaver in eighth place. Ditto in ninth place. Two and a half minutes to go. And after this, I believe we have fishing derby. Is that correct? You got it. Fishing derby coming up after this. So sharpen your hooks. Get ready to go. Fishing derby is coming up. Remember, you get to choose your lucky lure, choose your lucky location, and a fishing buddy. See if you can reel in that big one. We've got the big mouth and the small mouth jackpots out there. You can win those on any play. Anytime you get that golden walleye bonus, you got a chance for it. 355 for first, 316 for second place. What do we have on those jackpots for Fish and All Derby? All right, largemouth is starting at over $1,724 $1, and the smallmouth $500. All right, because we hit the smallmouth last yes, week. Who hit that? Do you recall? That was, I have that right here. That was, I think it was Ashley. Ashley, that's okay. right. Doesn't say where she was. Oh. But. We've got Julian first, Kevmar in sixth, Laker in seventh, Melissa in eighth place, Beaver in ninth, Bindi Boop in second place, YYTT in third, Ziggy Zacky down to fourth place, and Beach. Thinking of the beach, we all are this time of yeah. year, and it's getting close. We're not going to the section of Florida where there is a beach, oh but yeah, there is a pool. a pool. That works. Yep, and <laughs> that's going to be good enough. Not complaining. Not going to complain about that, that is for sure. Julian first, Binny Boop in second, Y, Y, T, T in third, Ziggy Zacky in fourth, Kev, Mar in fifth place at Shooters. <clears throat> Last couple seconds here, and then we will take a break. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Laker and Beach, back to back, six and sevens. Sevens. <laughs> <laughs> talking a lot recently. Julian first, Bindi Boop in second, YYTT in third, Kevmar in fourth, Ziggy Zacky in fifth place. Kevmar jumping up there with a lot of points on a single play. We got 10 seconds to go. And then we will go fishing. Let's fishing. Let's fishing. Let's fishing. Let's fishing. Let's yes. <laughs> All right, let's make it official. But Julie's going to take it 21,000 PCPGL <laughs> points. Where is my brain? My brain is still in Vegas. Yeah, that was so much right. fun. <laughs> be cool. What, what would be nice? What would happen if we got to be in Vegas and every week they flew in 12 people? I mean, I would not be that mad That would be about awesome. <laughs> $353 for Julie. I don't think anybody on the leaderboard would complain either. Different no. set of 12 every week. That'd be great. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Julie. We're going to take yes. a quick break, and we will be right back with Fishing Derby.
See what happens here. A minute and a half to go. 203,000 PCS points for Lydia. Snow Tweet in second place with 130,000. Lydia hit that gigantic win. Yeah. And I'll be honest, when I was playing this game in practice, I hit that same big win Did too. You? Yeah. <laughs> I was just as excited. That's why I didn't get my 10,000 <laughs> yeah. I walked around, the less walked around the office looking for my check. I couldn't find it. <laughs> All right, a minute to go. Where is Seahorse uh, plays-wise? Last play here for Seahorse. What's going to happen? Not going to find that 90,000 win, but Lydia going to take over first place there in this game. 168,000 just in this game for Lydia. 203,000 in total. Lydia is our champion. Jill saying, go, Grammy. Alexa saying, come on, Terry. Lydia doing the chicken dance. Woo! And yes, so we will have our, yes, we will have our host on it. What? Oh, yes, congratulations, Lydia. Big yes. win out awesome. there. Congrats. All the way to Vegas, all the qualifying <laughs> rounds, all the travels, all the blizzards, all the everything we've gone through. Lydia is our grand champion, 203,000 points. Becky checking in saying, go pig. All right, there's still 17 seconds. So, yep, very good. Uh, congratulations, Lydia. Time is officially coming down to an end here. Time is up. It is over. And we have our host coming out yes. to make the big <laughs> announcement, the big presentation. But congratulations. All right. Congratulations to Lydia. Oh, my gosh. And I mean a big victory, too, a big victory. But look how close it was between uh, third, fourth, and fifth place. That was really close. Number two, you came in really close, but Lydia, what's the, how's that song go from Breaking Bad? Lydia, sweet Lydia. Just don't let anybody put Stevia in your, uh, in your coffee, okay? The queen of? Lydia, oh, Lydia, the queen of the tattooed ladies. Oh, my goodness. All right. $10,000 richer. Congratulations to everybody. It was a great, great contest here and uh, pilot championship series a great start here in las vegas and i know you're all going to be joined uh, again on uh, tuesday is it coming up for the uh for the big cha another championship series but my gosh how about a round of applause for everybody here a well-played game and congratulations once again to lydia thank you Right, oh, we right. are back. I cannot believe it. What yeah. an amazing tournament. That was so awesome. Everything we went through. And uh, Lydia is the champion after all that. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, to Lydia. Lydia. So awesome. <laughs> and I think that's going to do it for us. We can go get something yeah. to eat, get something to drink, and relax with everybody. So, uh, yeah, I think that's. Yeah, thanks everyone for coming out. So much fun. Enjoy the rest of your time in Vegas. And remember, when you play pilot games, your community wins. All See right. You later. See you Tuesday. <laughs>
everybody. We are back. And oh my gosh, I still got easy money up on the screen. <laughs> can fix that right away. Hope everybody is having a great time. Ready for fishing derby. Ready for some Mardi Gras action next week. We are going to have fun. I love Mardi Gras. We'll get a king cake with the baby in it. Hopefully nobody chokes on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> got to be careful. We go crazy when there's desserts here. It's <laughs> like I'm at the Bellagio Buffet. All right, look at those total prizes, $10,000, over 400 players enrolled. Let's get these fishing boats off to the races. Anglers, get in your boats and hit the waters. Looking for finding those big fish out there. It's a 15 minute 50 cast flash bingo fishing derby game. Johanna already in first place with 5,600 points. Remember, th there are a ton of PGL points in this game. Yes. Tons. Hondo 63 in first, 6,100 points. Beats Cheek in sixth place. Values right now of the large mouth is $2,500. Small mouth, $904. That first place, $969. Second place, $727. Sixth place, or third place, $646. That's three <laughs> jackpots. Oh, yeah, it is. Guaranteed in this one. And we'll see what happens. Uh, with the rest of them. Precious checking in on Facebook. Precious, yes, how you hi, doing? Precious. Sorry you can't play, but I am glad you are checking in tonight. We always like hearing from you. I hope you're having a great week. Macho Nacho out there. That is great. Where is Macho Nacho playing at? At Rookie Rookies. Sports Bar. All right, Macho Nacho. <laughs> nice to see you out there, Macho Nacho. That is a great name. Got Amelia in first place, 20,000 PGL points already. Rock Tom in second place, whoa-ha, hoo-ha, <laughs> hoo-ha, hoo-ha, in third place. We got Drum Skeet in ninth, Jay Hanna 21 in eighth place, Hammer 33 in seventh, and Vike Fan 77 in sixth place, hoo-ha, hoo-ha. It's like that, um, that famous actor, he says that, hoo-ha. So it sounds exactly like what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh, Louie won picking up Fishing Derby winner last week. First place last week. Nice to see you back. Looney won. And CJ Hud at the Brickyard Bar and Grill in Clear Lake up in first place there. 26,000 PGL points. Clive Tron in sixth place. Rock Tom in seventh. Irish. Luck of the Irish. In eighth place, and we got Looney One in ninth place. I think it's about time to check in with Tristan yeah. and Mason. Where are you guys located? They are in Breezy Point. Uh, Alrighty, let me type it in here. Uh, is that a capital B or a lowercase? Okay, there we go. All right, Breezy Point, let's check in with you guys. What is happening at Breezy Point? Well, it's certainly breezy out here, just like it always is, and a little cold, too. Uh, we do have a few players out here, and I should point out before I even name them, all four of these players are playing with Susie right now. Oh. So it looks like Susie is going to be our most popular uh, fishing buddy, just like always, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. What's new? People yep. love Susie. So we've got Mom Hee Ha out here, Seahorse, Amy B, and then Ali C all playing out here in Breezy Point. Uh they're all using different lures, though, even though they are fishing with Susie. Maybe Susie's, like, trying to figure out which one's the best. Oh, I was just going to say she only <laughs> brought one of each. <laughs> More of that, you know. Yeah. But that's all we have going out here at Breezy's Point right now. All right. Well, that's some action. Anyways, we will check back in with you guys in a few minutes. Thanks for the update, and uh, keep on fishing. Sounds good, guys. <laughs> Wait, we can fish? <laughs> nope, I cut them <laughs> off. I cut you off. You can't fish. No fishing. Employees uh, of Pilot Games are not allowed to fish. Ever. All right, ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> you cannot fish anywhere. <laughs> All right, uh, we want to check and see what is happening. Speaking of fishing buddies, uh, that's where everybody's at. Oh, I realize it got cut off a little bit. Uh, Thirty-six percent are fishing with Pete. Forty-six percent of you fishing with Susie, and just seventeen percent are fishing with Matt. I don't ever understand that. Matt looks like a guy who's going to catch a like ton of fish. He's got those pants on. He can just jump in the water. He's and got those glasses that you can see through the water that's right he's got all the equipment I forget what those are called uh, polar, polarized. Yeah, polarized glasses <laughs> that is exactly what he's he is set and he's ready to go 
and people don't want to fish with him, but that's your choice. His vest does kind of stand out. Like That's all right. That's fish have to see it. Mm. All right. El Jefe jumping into first place there with 36,000 PGL points. Lucky Triple Seven in sixth place. Cow Poke in seventh. Merm. Sales Angus Grill in eighth place. And Snow Too Deep. I agree with that. In ninth place. CJ Hud in second. Ali C at the Guilty Goose in third place. Jocks at Pappy's Cafe in fourth place. And Hunky Punk at Shenanigans. <laughs> Cheer and Chow in fifth place. Got Kevin checking in on Facebook. All right, Kevin. Thank you. Uh oh, breaking news. Dun 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 dun. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. I don't even need to do that. Let's see. Breaking news, everybody. So that's actually worked out pretty good. That did. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's very regal. Breaking news. We have a small mouth jackpot. And let me tell you who it is. Small mouth jackpot is at the underground bar and grill. And the player is Jason0383 right. at Underground Bar and Grill. So far, picking up that smallmouth jackpot right at 900 bucks, And uh, that's going to be all yours unless somebody else catches one. So uh, anglers, uh, get out there and check it out and see if you can catch that smallmouth as well. Uh, if more than one person catches a smallmouth jackpot in the same round, that prize is split. Oh. That was my closing. Oh, my goodness. That was ending the uh, special <laughs> announcement. <laughs> Some people understand what segment Closer. we're in. Closer. Yeah. Closer. <laughs> uh, we got CJ Hud jumping into first at the Brickyard Bar and Grill in Clear Lake. With 40,000 PGL points. This can really uh, throw a monkey wrench into the PGL standings with how uh, many points people get in this 50-cast fishing derby tournament game. We got no more snow going by in 67th place. You know, the good thing, no more snow, is that it's almost March and it doesn't snow in March. Uh, I don't know where you're from. I say that every year. I know. It's a good <laughs> way to think it is. Oh, we have Ali C out there who could be Alley Cat. Oh, okay. PCS uh, player did not qualify though. Max Cat qualified. Yeah. Ali C at the Guilty Goose. Some Broda, third place. Jocks in fourth. Pappy's Cafe. Merm in fifth place at Sales Angus Grill. And there we have Pickle in eighth place. Pickle, remember that story about Pickle from that movie with Zach Morris? I don't know about either of those <laughs> things. <laughs> Miss Picky scrolling by in 73rd place. I think uh, with seven minutes to go, we should check yes. in with Tristan and Mason and see what you guys are doing. Where are you guys at? Bay de Moore. I like that. A little bit spooky. All right. El Jefe jumping up to the lead there. 47, 48,000 PGL points. All right. Let's hear what's happening in at the Bay. I really only come here in the hopes that I can like push Mason off the boat and like try it every time a, a sacrifice to <laughs> the witches that live over here. <laughs> Supposedly, it doesn't, don't actually, it doesn't work. It's it's the life vest. He always bobs back up to the surface. Well, so we follow yep. Louie out here of all people, and Louie is fishing with Matt. But then we also saw C.J. Hud, Amelia, Cowpoke, and Pickle fishing out here. And oddly enough, Cowpoke is also fishing with Matt. Mostly oh. everyone else is oh, fishing with Susie. All right. Out here. all right. Well, yeah, you gotta do what's lucky. I mean, Sorry. I would fish with Matt. Yeah, I would too. I think it's good to like change it. Change it up. Around. I would try it out. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely true. Try. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for that update. Um, we will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, no problem. Hey, I'm Mason, good. can you take off that vest for me real fast? <laughs> I'm not falling for that one again. No, okay. <laughs> all right. Good luck out there. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, Tristan Yikes. and Mason in the PGL boat out there checking things out. Speaking of PGL boats, we've got our boat that we can cruise oh, yeah. around in, the virtual boat. I'm firing it up right now. I put gas in it. I gave it a couple quick pulls, adjusted the choke, and it is firing up as we speak. Just a little bit slow going over there in that PGL boat today. Did I hit the right button? I don't know. Looks like I did. Oh, it's thinking hard. It's just... 
old boat. It's an old <laughs> boat. <laughs> it is an old boat. Yes. Yeah. It's got to patch it up. But in the meantime, we got El Jefe with 50,000 PGL points in first place. Pickle in sixth. Lucky triple seven in seventh. Lisa in eighth. And Hunky Punk in ninth place. Oh, little. Oh. There we go. Yeah, little Ed jumped into, looks like, fourth place now. And Tristan and Mason drove past him and bait him more. Very good. Little Ed and we had Mr. Ed before. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're related. I think I'm going to give up on this boat and just try to restart it. It's a rough day. <laughs> yeah, a cold start. It's uh, it's hard in the winter time. Sometimes they just <laughs> don't want to start. It's just like our car. <laughs> yeah, just like our car. Our our car. Yeah, Tristan offering some flex tape. I appreciate that, Tristan. But we'll see if we. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to work in this case, but maybe you should get it ready just in case. <laughs> All right, let's see. Or it could just be that the uh, this is a one of those computerized boats. Oh. And maybe the computer that's running the boat's just chugging along that happens. for unknown reasons. <laughs> I believe that is exactly what's happening. All right, well, it happens. It happens. We will re reboot the boat. That is right. All right. Under four minutes to go. Al Hefe still in first place there with 50,000 PGO points. Jocks in second place, Little Ed in third. CJ Hunt in fourth, Lucky Triple Seven in fifth place. Allie C in sixth, Hunky Punk in seventh, Lisa in eighth place, and Pickle in ninth. Is it hot in here or is it just It's me? hot in here now. All right, we'll be able to adjust but that. Yeah, it just takes a while. Yep. <laughs> It'll right. probably click off here in a second anyway. All right, three and a half minutes. I think we have time to check in with our remote crew. Yes. Where are you guys located? Prosperity Harbor. Go. All right, what's happening at Prosperity Harbor? But I wanted to go to the Dockside Bar. <laughs> okay, we can go to the Dockside Bar later. We have to get the flex tape and take it to Tony and Nikki. <laughs> Forget about them. Go to the Dockside Bar. That's rude. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Sorry. Uh, we're we're out here with some famous faces, actually. We have Luck K, Nixon, and Grandma D all fishing out here who are in the top 10 of our PGL leaderboard. Ooh, wow. Then I have, I don't know if I, I can say this name on air, Hunky Punk? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what punk's about, Mr. <laughs> Hunky Punk, <laughs> or Mrs. Uh, dog is out here, just a dog in a rowboat. Um, Matt's taking care <laughs> of him, though. And then we have Boomer515 and Peter Puck all fishing out here at Prosperity Harbor. Peter Puck and Hunky Punk. That's right. Oh, man. It, it is actually, poster. like, packed here. I, I'm surprised we could even fit in. But, you know, our boat is actually made entirely of flex tape. Wow. So, you know, it kind of <laughs> just like it can go between corners and crevices and stuff. It's very nice. Hey. Well, good. Yeah, you need yeah. to get into those places, especially if you're trying to catch those big fish or the uh, smallmouth jackpot. That's right. All right. Well, thanks for that update. We've got two minutes to go, and uh, we were going to see who wins this, but El Jefe in first place. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. See you guys later. See ya. All right. We are back, and our boat is putting along over there. But uh, I'm going to try to reboot it again, just to just for the sake of rebooting's sake. Got little Ed in second, Jocks in third, CJ Hud in fourth place, Lucky Triple Seven in fifth place. Let's see what happens on the next update here. Hunky Punk in sixth, Alley Cat in seventh, Disc Freak J. At Dugout Bar in 8th place. And Lisa, 10 spot Royalton in ninth place. All right, Jesse Rob out there as well. Nice to see you scrolling by. And so far, only one small mouth jackpot has been hit. And that is Jason0383 at the Underground Bar and Grill. That's a $900 jackpot. We might have three or four jackpots in this game. That holds on. What are we playing next? As the clock up, winds down. Yeah, up next is going to be top 10. And then at 810, we're going to be playing Wipeout Blackout. All right. So two great games coming up. That Wipeout Blackout, just a dollar per card. And it has a pretty good-sized jackpot, doesn't it? 
for Wipeout Blackout? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the coverall is starting at four thousand one hundred and seventy, and the large frame at one thousand seven hundred. Yep. Coverall within fifty-five balls. Large frame within forty-five balls. But big prizes in this fishing derby right here tonight. For over four hundred players playing for these big prizes. Nine hundred sixty-nine dollars for first place. Seven twenty-seven for second. Six forty-six for third. Those are all jackpots, plus $900 for that smallmouth jackpot. Looks like Jason0383 is going to be the only player winning that one tonight. Big money on that smallmouth. Two weeks in a row, we've hit it. Congratulations in doing that. That's a tough feat. And as soon as it's official, we will take a quick break and be right back with top 10. As we work our way to wipe out Blackout. All right, congratulations. All right, El, El, Hefe. Hefe. El Hefe, congratulations, 50,000 PGL points. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Top 10. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone to our inaugural pilot championship series. We brought the top 12 players across the Minnesota regional qualifiers out to Las Vegas for some fun in the sun. But they brought some Minnesota weather with them and had a little bit of snow and some chilly temperatures. But they're still here for a chance to win $10,000. So at this time, we're going to meet the players and we're going to find out pretty soon who's going to take home the grand prize. So stay tuned, everybody, and the action's about to begin. Let's meet the contestants, introducing a newcomer to pilot with the nine lives of a cat from St. Cloud, not Mad Max. This is Max! Here is Max! And our 11th place finalist comes from Woodbury. He's looking to have a little fun in Vegas, but he's really looking to win $10,000. How about a round of applause for Bella Dog? Bella Dog, great name. Our 10th place finalist from St. Paul. Not Fancy Pants, Nancy Pants! Welcome, Nancy Pants! And in ninth place, from Nicolette, PGL contender, leave it to Beaver! No beaver jokes, this is beaver. In eighth place, representing Big Lake and praying for the big win, ladies and gentlemen, Wasteful! All right, Wasteful. And in seventh place, coming from Apple Valley, hoping to vacation in the Maldives, ladies and gentlemen, Sherry! Welcome, Mount Sherry. And in sixth place, coming all the way from outer space, our current reigning and defending PGL champion, the name is No Show!
the reigning champ, No Show. And in fifth place, flying in from Mankato, here is Erica. Hi, Erica. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in fourth, originally from Northeast Minneapolis, proud owner of a small mouth bass, ladies and gentlemen, Seahorse. All right, Seahorse. I'm gonna find out about that small mouth bass thing later. And in third, it's a man that comes from Hillman, and he swears his wife gave him the good luck kiss that he needed to make the finals. Now, we've all heard that you can't put lipstick on a pig, but his wife put a kiss with lipstick on this man. His name is Pig! All right, Pig, we're gonna find out about that good luck kiss. And in second, coming from Columbia Heights, all the way here to Vegas, to have some fun, to win some money, Lydia, Miss Lydia! All right, Lydia, welcome. And last, but not least, our first place contestant. Coming in with positive thinking and a lucky attitude. The name is Tweety! Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, all 12 contestants. One of them is gonna leave with 10 grand. So now, the players are ready. Everything you see here is ready. The friends, fans, and family members, they are all ready. Are you ready? So for all those in attendance and all those watching at home, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Good luck, everybody. All right, here we are. We are back. And uh, Ellie, see, already at the Guilty Goose, 13,000 PGL points. We are in our last Flash Bingo game of the evening here with this top 10 $5 game. And we're going to have Wipeout Blackout coming in right after that. $1 per card. Ali C in first place. Dust Ball, 75 and 6. J Bobbers in seventh place. Mom in eighth place. And Firecat, 700 at Tootsie's in ninth place. Chicken Foo in second place, Whitey in third, Bobo in fourth, and C Siegel at Herald's Club in fifth place. First through fifth place, all $198 prizes. Not too bad for a $5 buy-in. I hope you guys are enjoying the highlights from the PCS finals in Las Vegas yeah. over the weekend. I know we are certainly enjoying watching them again and uh, enjoyed living them live. Mm -hmm. And thanks to everybody who watched on Facebook that night. That was great. We had a ton of people logging in and leaving comments, and it was really, really fun. So thanks a lot for doing that. We enjoyed it. Made it so much more fun to be able to share it with a lot of other yeah. people. There we got Skip in fourth place and Dirks. Is that Dirks Bentley? Maybe. He might have spelled That's not how he spells his name, though, well, is there's it? There's an E in there. Yeah, he might have just spelled it wrong. <laughs> Maybe the E, his, sometimes keyboards, you know, you get something right. in there, the E key doesn't well, he work. Remain undercover. That's right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he checks in uh, hotels at, so <laughs> nobody will find him. All right, LEC at the Guilty Goose, still holding on to that first place position with 18,000 PGL points, but Kalani very close, hot on the heels there at MT's on eighth. Craig K in third place. Whitey in 6th, Chicken Foo in 7th, Skip in 8th place, and Bobo at Bielka's Bar in ninth place. Kalani in 2nd, Whitey in 3rd, Craig K in 4th, Andy Fitz moving up to 5th place at Stoney's Bar. 
got any change around here. Not too much change since that last update. But it'll be interesting to see where our PGL standings are after today. It's always big shakeup, especially when Fishing Derby is on the agenda. Yeah. Next time we see everybody, it'll be March. And that means no more snow. So I'm just going to keep saying it. You say something enough times, it is true. <laughs> I think that's how the old saying goes. <laughs> I just remember that one time I got to go on a cruise in March. Or no, no, it was April. First week of April, I went on a cruise. Remember I had to do that for work? Oh, yeah. And then I came back from the Caribbean, and there was three inches of ice on the driveway. That was in April. <laughs> Mason, when is our cruise with the Trailer Park Boys? Yeah, we've, we're going to... I guess we'll just show up since we didn't buy tickets and see if they can let us on. <laughs> Six through the 10th, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... That actually lined up with spring break. Like I could have actually gone on that. You could have. I could have. <laughs> Well, no, we booked we're going to Florida. Yeah, I know. I agree. What's more important, going to Florida or hanging out with Tom Green and, uh, and Bubbles and Randy? <laughs> <laughs> That's what, when they're down there, that they're celebrities for around the clock. So you, if you want to see, if you want a piece of pizza, you can get a piece of pizza any time of day. If you want to hear Tom Green telling jokes, you go to the Tom Green stage. He's in there 24 hours telling jokes. Blizzard 19 in fourth place. We got Jay 10, 13 in second. Andy Fitz in third. Blizzard 19 in fourth. JB's Tanner. Kalani in fifth place. And MT's on eighth. Dirks in sixth place, Kalani now in seventh, C Siegel in eighth place, and Craig K in ninth. And about four minutes to go, and then we will play Wipeout Blackout. It's fast, it's fun, it's warm, makes us think of the warmth and the beach. There's Money Bags 2 scrolling by. Ooh, all right. <laughs> wonder where Money Bags 1 is. <laughs> Station G also scrolling by. Did see no show on the board for a little while. I don't know if we've seen many of our other top PGL leaders make it to the top nine yet tonight. If not, there may be some shakeups. Pilot Cup still at Trails Grill for the second season in a row. And we'll see what happens when July rolls around, if it's going to stick there for another one or it's going to move but i'll tell you one thing we are going to be engraving it with a name even if it's no show again we'll put his yeah. name on there twice those are 19 jump to the top twenty-four thousand pgl points and we got sale at honkies grove city in ninth place those are 19 with a play left trying to build on that lead with two minutes 40 seconds to go chaz in third Dirks in sixth, Craig K in seventh, Skip in eighth place, and Sybil at landing on Madison in ninth place. Hit that small mouth jackpot just a few minutes ago. Four jackpots in that game. Big winners out there in that one. Now we're in a $5 game. Ooh, what'd you forget? <laughs> I forgot to do something today. Oh, okay. We got Flipper scrolling by in 77. Flipper celebrity out there. <laughs> uh, dolphin, I believe. Yes. It's faster than lightning. <laughs> Flipper. So Flipper was, it, it's a show from like the 70s, right? <laughs> yeah. And was Flipper a wild dolphin or was Flipper in SeaWorld? Okay. Flipper, Flipper yeah. a wild dolphin who's friends with a little boy. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, those dolphins are pretty smart. Yeah. And they, they're they the ones who can, they basically talk through a series of clicks, right? Mm -hmm. I guess. 
90 seconds to go. Blizzard 19 in first place. Yes, that is what they tell us. Blizzard 19 in first place. J1013 in sixth place. Chaz in second. Ali C in third. Sal now in fourth place. And Sybil in fifth place. Ali C at the Guilty Goose. Blizzard 19 at JB's Tavern. 60 second warning here. Use all of those plays. Only $5. You can win 138 bucks if you finish 6th through 10th place. But even better, if you finish 1st through 5th, it's a $198 prize. Not too bad. Good ROI. That's return on investment. $5 to $198. That's what can happen. All righty. 30 seconds to go. We'll get our new... Music all queued up because we got special music for the next game. Yes. And then after all that, we've got the wrap-up show. Tristan and Mason are back there taking notes, getting ready to tell us everything that's happened in the world of PGL. Ten seconds to go. And looks like Blizzard 19 going to take it. Just 300 points in front of Chaz. All right, that'll do it as soon as it is official. See what happens here. Lots of thought taking place here, making sure those 300 points are accurate between first and second place. There we go. $197, JB's Tavern. Yep, congratulations. We will take a quick break and be right back. All right, let's see what happens here. A minute and a half to go. 203,000 PCS points for Lydia. Snow Tweet in second place with 130,000. Lydia hit that gigantic win. Yeah. And I'll be honest, when I was playing this game in practice, I hit that same big win Did too. You? Yeah. <laughs> I was just as excited. Well, I didn't get my $10,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I walked around, the less walked around the office looking for my check. I couldn't find it. <laughs> All right. A minute to go. Where is Seahorse uh, plays-wise? Last play here for Seahorse. What's going to happen? Not going to find that 90,000 win, but Lydia going to take over first place there in this game. 168,000 just in this game for Lydia. 203,000 in total. Lydia is our champion. Jill saying, go Grammy. Alexa saying, come on, Terry. Lydia doing the chicken dance. Woo! And yes, so we will have our, yes, we will have our host on it. What? Oh, yes, congratulations, Lydia. Big yes. win out awesome. there. Congrats. All the way to Vegas, all the qualifying <laughs> rounds, all the travels, all the blizzards. All the everything we've gone through. Lydia is our grand champion. 203,000 points. Becky checking in saying, go pig. All right. There's still 17 seconds. Yep. So, yep, very good. Uh, congratulations, Lydia. Time is officially coming down to an end here. Time is up.
It is over, and we have our host coming out yes. to make the big <laughs> announcement, the big presentation. But congratulations. All right. Congratulations to Lydia. Oh, my gosh. And I mean a big victory, too, a big victory. But look how close it was between uh, third, fourth, and fifth place. That was really close. Number two, you came in here really close. But Lydia... What's the, how's that song go from Breaking Bad? Lydia, sweet Lydia. Just don't let anybody put Stevia in your, uh, in your coffee, okay? The queen of? Lydia, oh, Lydia, the queen of the tattooed ladies. Oh, my goodness. All right. $10,000 richer. Congratulations to everybody. It was a great, great contest here and uh, pilot championship series. A great start here in Las Vegas, and I know you're all going to be joined uh, again on uh, Tuesday. Is it coming up for the uh, for the big cha another championship series? But my gosh, how about a round of applause for everybody here? A well played game, and congratulations once again to Lydia. Thank you. Right, oh, we right. are back. I cannot believe it. What yeah. an amazing tournament! That was so awesome. Everything we went through. And uh, Lydia is the champion after all that. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, to Lydia. Lydia. So awesome. <laughs> and I think that's going to do it for us. We can go get something yeah. to eat, get something to drink, and relax with everybody. So, uh, yeah, I think that's. Yeah, thanks everyone for coming out. So much fun. Enjoy the rest of your time in Vegas. And remember when you play pilot games, your community wins. All See right. You later. See you Tuesday. <laughs>hello everybody and welcome back to megasota game night 378 players are ready to go for this wipeout blackout cover all game big prizes out there just a buck a card and we are ready to get this game off to the races so here we go and yep there you go you got the <laughs> snappy fingers going all that kind of stuff i do and we are going to have some fancy snappy music as well as soon as this All is right. ball, as soon as that's, let, me, let me start over again. Okay. As soon as this ball drops, we're going to start some fancy music. Large frame within 45 balls. Cover all within 55 balls to win those big, gigantic prizes. Oh, and there's a line win in this game, too, isn't there? Uh. Yes. It and I set that one to zero. <laughs> so, actually, <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. If somebody wins within eight balls gonna get a bigger prize than that oh man there's Phil at the 1029 bar congratulations Phil picking that up it's eight hundred ninety five dollars for Phil sorry Phil I had the wrong button pressed that's an eight hundred ninety five dollar jackpot for Phil big big win out there awesome. now let's go after that large frame thirty two hundred dollars if you can hit that within 45 balls Uh, four cards, six balls away from this large frame. One card, five balls away. Now three cards, five balls away. Bullers, Ram, T-Dubs, five balls away. And we got Hine, four balls away. 
Melissa Rabbit and Hine. Rabbit 02 is actually 12th place in the PGL standings. Ooh, all right. I Purple blue <laughs> out there, too, at Wico's. 27 cards, four balls away. Looking for a winner on or before ball 45 for this large frame with over $3,000. 20 cards, three balls away. 20. Three cards, two balls away. They're coming in so fast, <laughs> we can't even keep track. Don, one ball away, four balls to do it in. Don, can you win that large frame? There we go. Congratulations, All Don. Right. Picking up 3,200 bucks. Now we'll go after that large frame by ball 45. Can we get a third jackpot? That first one is the $895 jackpot. Ball Let's see what 55. happens here. Yeah, ball 55. That is right. One ball away. Looney one. Lots of chances here. Five chances for Looney one. Four more to go. Let's see. Janie joining the leaderboard. Two balls to go. Last chance. Ball 55. Do we have a winner? No winner. And there we go. All right. So close for Looney All one. Right. But not quite. So that is going to roll over the next week. 500 bucks there. $3,200 for the large frame. And actually an $800 jackpot uh, for that line win within eight balls. So congratulations, everybody out there. We're going to take a quick break and be right back with the wrap-up show. Yes. Right back. All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the PCS PGL wrap up show. And uh, we've got a lot of great things to talk about here. But before we talk about those great things, I want to look at some pictures we got coming in here hot off the press. We've got no show right there shaking hands with Hall of Famer Michael Buffer. Oh. Right. That was amazing. There he is with his Tootsie shirt on, representing Tootsies. That was awesome. And we got, he's sending all kinds of pictures in. We were only able to get to two of them. Here is one more Luck Hay out there in Old Vegas having a blast with Shrek and Clown. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like so much fun. We never made it to Old Vegas, we didn't have Not time. Not time. But I'm glad you guys were having fun. And thanks for sharing the pictures because. Yes. That is awesome. And we got a ton more, hopefully, that we're going to get yeah. over the next week or so. We'll put something together to share with everybody. So uh, that was great. Outside of that, how are things in the PGL world with you guys? Well, there have been some big changes tonight. Uh, I have a lot to go over. Okay. So I'm sorry I'm going to be taking up so much that time. That is fine. <laughs> in first, we still have Lucke out at the trails 
uh, sorry, I almost said the trails bar, the <laughs> trails grill. Uh, in second, we still have Mom Heha at Schiffler's Liquor, but in third, we have Nixon with two X's at Roseville VFW. Nixon actually jumped up two spaces tonight from, uh, it should be fifth to third. No Show is now in fourth. Amy B is in fifth. Seahorse is in sixth. Grandma D is in seventh. J Mac is in eighth. Louie is in ninth. And then Cancer Sucks fell all the way to tenth place. Oh, tonight. no. Did, right. did she not play tonight? Um, no, she didn't. So we, we don't oh, know if she had a vacation okay. or not. Yeah, usually she's on Facebook. We, we didn't see her tonight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, You're doing true. good out there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, other big movers we had tonight. Bear actually made his way back onto the leaderboard, ended up in 25th after the first game. And then by the end of the night, Bear moved up to 17th place. Wow. He jumped 18 nice. places. Bear was Jeez. actually the highest point score, or second highest point scorer, I should say, of the night, followed by Nixon. Nixon had 72,000 points. Bear had 70,000 points. Uh, there were a lot of points out there tonight. We actually had, I, I calculated it, uh, it was eight players on our PGL leaderboard getting over 60,000 Whoa, points. no way. That's got to be a record yes, of some kind. Yeah. Um, it's not. It oh. still did not beat the highest point total of the night, which is about 80,000 oh. points. And if I remember correctly, that was J.K. Eddy, who got six er, 86,000 points wow. in one night. Yeah. Wow. Um, but ever since we started playing a lot of these uh, uh, really quick, fast bingo games, there's been a lot more points out there, especially when you throw in fishing derby. That yeah. really yeah. boosts it. Uh, which is why I've got to say Sunny Day. You shouldn't have missed Fishing Derby. That was <laughs> <laughs> Sunny Day was actually doing really well today. They uh, jumped from 20th to 12th place. Wow. But with Fishing Derby alone, the game that they skipped, they actually went back down to 18th place. Oh, no. So they moved up a little bit. But Fishing Derby was, was the game where a lot of people moved. Um, I mean, I... I can go over all the movements all night, but I think Mason will fall asleep. So <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we're just going to move right on over to Mason. All right. All sounds right. good. Busy night of games. There was over $20,000 given out in prizes tonight. Wow. Always a lot of money in prizes. For the first game of the night, Blingo Bingo, we had Man797, JJC, RSC, Tony Ray, and J Ray as our top five players. Jam, Bindi Boop, Genie, Troy T and Debbie were the top five players in our Meso Perch game. For easy money, we had Julie M, Bindi Boop again, YYTT, Kevmar, and Ziggy Zaki. <laughs> During Fishing Derby, we had Jason0383 get the smallmouth jackpot, resetting that to 500 next week. EJ Heffy, Lil Ed, Jocks, CJ HUD and Lucky777 were the top five anglers during the Fishing Derby game. That large mouth is still out there and that will continue to grow next week starting at just over $2,500. So that thing is getting big. Yeah, geez. For top 10, our top five players tonight were Blizzard19, Chaz, Ali C, Holly58, and Sal. And during our last game of the night, Wipeout Blackout. We had Phil win the progressive line win, Dawn win the progressive large frame, and Looney won take the cover all home. There was no progressive one in that one. Now with Phil getting the line win progressive, that will reset next week to 250. Okay. Because Dawn got the large frame progressive, that will reset to 750. And the progressive is going to continue to grow and will start at over $6,000 Ooh, next wow. Week. That's going to be a yeah. big one. Getting very big, yes. Yep. Very all good. That's all it for our wrap up. Awesome. Thanks for the See? info. Lots of activity out there in the jackpots and the big wins. Lots of activity on the PGL leaderboard. And I think that is going to do it for us. So next Tuesday oh, right. will be It is Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras right? Yeah, oh, that's right. So stay tuned. We'll have some king cake. We should have had some punch keys today. Yeah. You're supposed to have them on Fat Tuesday. Well, no, you can have them every day up <laughs> including. So you can have oh punch keys from. I think it's April 15th, starting April 15th, all the way around until, like, March 5th. I, uh, I I've challenge accepted. One. Yeah. I, I can't. <laughs> I don't I can't understand do it because they're just donuts. They are they're, just donuts. They're donuts, but they have a lot of filling in them. Extra filling. Okay. I don't it's really like them. Well, vegetables. we get to eat them every day until next Tuesday where we fill up on cake and then we take a break. <laughs> That's how that works. It's like the Bellagio <laughs> all over break. again. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> all, all right. right. I think all that's right. going to do it for us. So we'll yeah. See. 
Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Okay. Get us out of here. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> uh, yes. Thanks, everyone, for coming out tonight. We are super excited for next week. See you then. Remember, when you play pilot games, your community wins. See you. Bye, Night, everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you.